glass I wrote with Garrison Starr, who you should definitely check out. She has a beautiful voice and great songs. And I had been working on this concept of how we are all colored by everything in our lives. All of the emotions, all of the experiences, um, sad, happy, joy, stress, whatever it is, it all sort of colors us. Um, metaphorically and even though sometimes we can break and fall apart we can take those pieces and put them back together into something even stronger and more beautiful than we were before like stained glass and so that was the the concept for the song and I'd been working on it and I was having a hard time with the melody uh, for the verses I had a lot of the lyrics um, and the concept done, but I was having a hard time with the melody for the verses, so I got together with Garrison Starr, and we chatted for a little bit, and and then we started, I told her what the concept was, and I started playing some of the chords that I had, and she came up with the melody for the verse, and it was just like, click, yep, that's exactly what I've been, that's exactly what it is. It was like a breath of fresh air. And so that was a really fun writing experience. And this song is really important, hopefully relatable to people because it can be really hard to be broken, to feel like if you go through a heartbreak or something really sad, tragic happens to you or you're just dealing with anxiety or depression or whatever, hard times at work or at school or people are being mean to you, anything like that can be really, really hard to get through and it can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel and think that you might just be broken forever. And so this was my kind of love letter to anyone who's feeling that way and to myself to remember that that is true, even in the darkest times to remember that you can come back and light will shine through and it will be colored by your experiences and hopefully in a beautiful way and not letting those, those colors dampen your world, but brighten them, brighten it.